the station taking action for you. This is ABC Action News. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Hurtado. And I'm Jamison Euler. His whereabouts became a craze on social media, even earning him the nickname Mystery Monkey of Tampa Bay. Elusive and on the run for three years, he was blamed for a recent attack on a woman, but he is now in custody. Our Bill Logan is following this developing story in Safety Harbor, where the monkey was brought. Bill? And right now, I can tell you, Jameson, that this is a story that is changing as rapidly as, well, the monkey status. A couple of weeks ago, actually two weeks to the day from today, uh, we were really worried about the monkey status, thinking that it might be the end of the line after there was a lot of increased activity and a lot of increased scrutiny on his whereabouts. But now, as the monkey comes here to Safety Harbor, it looks like just a shift of gears and perhaps, for him, even a new beginning. It was shortly after 3 this afternoon when we first got our at long last look up close at the up until now elusive mystery monkey. There he is. He looks tired. He's sleeping it off. For Dr. Don Woodman, who fired the tranquilizer dot that brought the on the lamb primate down for a while, it was the end of a long quest. We know he's been hanging around the Tampa area for roughly three years. We've been chasing him for three years. This is a pretty resourceful uh, simian, isn't it? He is a very resourceful little monkey, isn't he? The now imprisoned primate looked sort of sad as his sedatives were off, surrounded by a phalanx of photographers and reporters, and even the steady stream of curious onlookers who came by once word of the capture spread. But rest assured, this was the best possible outcome for all concerned, at least according to those who've kept up with the monkey's comings and goings since 2009. Dr. Woodman will now go through taking blood from him and testing him uh, to try to make sure that he has nothing contagious, which will help the woman who was uh, scratched at by him so that the whole problem of him jumping on her will be ended. And uh, at that point, we're also going to check him for any kind of microchips, tattoos, or anything that may lead that he belongs to somebody. Uh, and then he'll be held for 30 days, roughly, uh, to make sure that no one does claim him. And at that point, we will then proceed to try to find him a home where he's going to go. So the bottom line is this monkey will not have to be put down. There's no reason that th whatsoever at this point, unless we find some highly bad contagious disease that he has, that he would be put down. Which is great news for animal lovers and also great news for that woman in St. Pete who was attacked by the monkey two weeks ago. My colleague Chris Trankman is in South St. Pete right now working on more information on that aspect of the story. He'll join us at 6. For now, though, we're live in Safety Harbor. Bill Logan, ABC.